Okay guys, so today I'm going to try to see if I can set up a starter culture for springtails. Um, so right here I have just some topsoil and a small closable dish, um, some spag moss, and some river rocks, and a little bit of dechlorinated water from a fish tank. Um, should be starting with the, the lump coal um but i'm just doing this to see if you can set up a starter culture of springtails with things that you might have at home from your garden um again some of you might have lump coal i don't maybe i do i should ask my husband anyways so <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is just mix the spag moss this is a really good moisture holder um mix that in here it doesn't smell very good but it'll do um i'm gonna mix it all together with the topsoil and the spag moss make sure that it gets everywhere nice and dirty there we go there we go okay and then on top of that i'm just going to dump these river rocks i'm doing this so when i put the water in the springtails will have little places to sit as opposed to just being in a puddle of water. I'm sure that's no fun. They might just hop right out and leave my little culture and I'll never even know they were there. So I have the topsoil, the spag moss, and then a top layer of river rock. And I'm gonna add some dechlorinated water in there, just enough to create a nice puddle underneath the rocks. So as you can see, there's a nice layer of, this is basically a puddle, and then these rocks, they'll be able to hop on and get to the moisture. So what I'm gonna do with this today is I do apologize about the mess ahead of time as I'm going to set this into my laundry room. My laundry room is made, I assume, out of a, a utility room. Um, the drain is disgusting, damp, always wet. Um, it actually is a, um, a drain that comes through under our house from the streets. So I feel like there's going to be like a lot of... Uh, access to natural resources in that area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my laundry room, just down in this stinky dank little drain. And I'm going to leave that in there for a couple of days and see what I can get. If anything, I also have two more of these out in my yard. It is raining today. Um, so I'm going to leave those out there for a few days and see if I get anything from that either. I know I will get isopods out in the yard. I'm just not sure about springtails. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. See what, see what happens. Uh, so like, subscribe, um, follow me if you guys are interested in seeing what can and can't be achieved without buying starter cultures.